having both magnitude and direction okay so then we have discussed how to represent vector in different form that is cartesian rectangular form cartesian or rectangular form then polar form and trigonometric form and we have also seen that in cartesian form a vector is represented like x plus jy okay where x and y are real and imaginary axis values respectively and then we have seen in polar form it is represented by r comma theta or r at an angle theta okay where r is the radius and theta is the angle between uh, reference or origin and uh, the quantity space angle it is space angle okay then it is trigonometric form is actually combined form of both cartesian and polar form it is represented like r into e raised to j phi where e raised to j phi is cos phi plus j sin phi and then we have seen addition subtraction division and multiplication of uh, faces okay then we have discussed that for addition and subtraction it will be easy if you do it in polar form and multiplication and division you can easily perform multiplication and division if you convert or if you convert the phasor into polar form okay that's also we have discussed then we have discussed analysis of ac circuit uh, where we have analyzed that what will happen to current in a circuit current in an ac circuit if a resistor is connected if capacitor is connected if inductor is connected so all these cases we have discussed and we have seen that when resistor is connected when resistor is connected what actually was happening is voltage equation okay it will not never change voltage equation is always v is equal to vm sin omega t when resistor is connected current become i equal to im sin omega t and both of this equation both the equations of voltage and current is having a term sin omega t we can say that both are in phase okay Uh, let me explain that one valare important aanu idu manasilaya maathre namakku adutha topicals manasilavullu okay idu nanu ne veendum veendum parannu okay the first case was ac circuit where we are connecting we resistor series with that okay so the current will be flowing through this resistor okay everyone please tell me what is the voltage value v is equal to and then expression is under all everyone para vm aaru parayunnilla nodu vm sin omega t vm sin omega t so current what about current i is equal to i am ra ellaru mic on aakki samsarikkudu sai omega t okay so because of this sai in term we have seen that endha nadu manasayidu when we draw a wave form okay so there is a voltage wave form Guessing that is current wave form. Okay, no problem. Ah, uh, then which part of the circuit will be also the current wave form? Okay, so voltage wave form will be like this, and current wave form will mark in red color. Okay. So this is green color is voltage and red color is current. Okay. So we have seen that both are in phase with each other. that means voltage the 
it crosses zero at the same time as current crosses zero. And it reaches the maximum value at the same time current reaches the maximum value. And it reaches the negative maximum value at the same time the current reaches the negative maximum value. That means both are in same phase because of this negative. And when we draw phasor diagram, when we draw phasor diagram, when we draw phasor diagram, okay, so first I am drawing the voltage phasor and then I have drawn the current phasor. The length of voltage phasor is length of voltage phasor is always greater than the length of current phasor. What is the reason for that? Even you can see it in the waveform also. The peak value of current is always less than the peak value of voltage. What is the reason for that? Because we know that V uh, V m sin omega t is the voltage equation, and I is equal to I m sin omega t is current equation. But what is the equation for finding out I m? It is V m divided by R, where R is the resistance value. So V m is a term on the divide the value on I m, maximum value of current. V m is the maximum value of voltage. So current in the parameter V m divided by R. So I m value will be always less than V m value. So that is the case of your resistor, okay, when AC is connected to a your resistor. Then what about inductor? Okay. Inductor. Hello, the screen will learn to inductor. Inductor. Okay, so what we did, we have taken same like same case, AC supply and And an inductor is L, and we know that V is equal to Vm sin omega t. And when we derived, okay, and derivation is when we derived current equation that is. Engineering derivative, we had an equation, sorry, V is equal to L D I by D. L D I by D. V is equal to L D I by D. That is a voltage across inductor is equal to self-inductance into rate of change of current. Okay. Where voltage across an inductor is already given, it is V is equal to Vm sin omega t. This is the voltage across inductor because AC supply is connected directly to the inductor. So the voltage across inductor is the voltage of that AC supply. That is V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So that is equal to L dI by dt. From this we are integrating because dI by dt term is there. So from that we have to find out what is the current equation. So we have to integrate. So while integrating, we call something like I is equal to I m sin omega t. While doing the derivation, we got something like this omega t minus pi by 2. Now look at this case where voltage equation has a sin omega t and current equation has sin omega t minus pi by 2. That means the current is actually lagging behind the voltage. Current is actually lagging behind the voltage. So when I draw the, uh, first I am drawing the voltage waveform. Okay, voltage waveform. So this is omega t. So current is lagging behind voltage. That means how to draw that? Okay, so as you take this point, take this particular point. I think you can see that point in the screen. Okay, take this particular point. Current is lagging behind the voltage. That means the current 
should cross zero. Okay. In this point only. Okay. That is the voltage zero cross the chain is also 90 degree cutting it. Uh, current is zero cross symbol. Okay, for uh, for example, you take this point. Okay, it is better to take this point. Here, from negative half cycle, it is crossed to positive half cycle. It is changed to positive half cycle. And that is the voltage wave. Okay, green color is the voltage wave. For that, negative half cycle and positive half cycle like it changes. Right? Okay. So, at the current initiation, after 90 degree, what should happen? The current waveform should cross zero so it will come like this then you can look at this point okay this is the peak value of voltage after 90 degree current should reach the peak value so this waveform will be something like this current is lagging behind the voltage okay so voltage is crossing zero and after 90 degree current is reaching uh, crossing the zero value uh, zero axis reference axis or uh, voltage is reaching uh, peak value first after 90 degree current reaches the peak value so there is always a delay okay so that's it and about the phasor diagram so i can say that which is leading current voltage is leading so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw voltage phasor like this and then 90 degree okay, 90 degree there should be a 90 degree difference then i am drawing the current phasor you even you can reduce the length of current phasor no issue because it should be uh, the current phasor should be always less than the voltage phasor because we know that im is always the maximum current Peak current is calculated like voltage divided by a resistance. In the case of inductor, it is voltage divided by reactance. So always Vm divided by something will be current value. So Vm value will be or voltage phasor will be always uh, well, or you can say like uh, length of voltage phasor will be always greater than length of current phasor. So I can draw it like this. Here it is, uh, 90 degree. Okay, it is. I can say that it is perfectly 90 degree because I am assuming a condition that the inductor is ideal or pure inductor. Okay, pure inductor in the case of 90 degree pakke in the parameter. If it is not pure, if it is having some resistance effect or something. It will be less than 90 degree. It will be in between 0 and 90 degree. You know what Pure inductor number of VOA in the same year. Now, the parayam that the voltage and current number of difference is exactly 90 degree and phase of the number of difference. But if it is not pure, that means number inductor is winding on a winding coil and a coil in the conductor resistance in the other. Now, another case is EOA difference in the number exactly 90 degree. I recall. Okay, it will be between 0 and 90 degree. Okay, that's what Okay, next one is capacitor. The last one is capacitor. But do you the difference? Uh, sir. Okay, so this is Okay, the last one capacitor. Okay, the last one capacitor. I'm going to the partner. Ningle and the partner. Okay, diagram. I recommend the change in your What change I should uh, do in the circuit diagram? Inductor wire and capacitor. Okay, then you're going to respond to the LMP online class. The Dukumbu is soon down. I am going to the voltage So, what is the voltage equation? V is equal to? Vm sin omega t. I is equal to? 
नंदन परूटेड voltage equation in this equation so c d by dt of vm sin omega t then we have differentiated sin omega t and finally we got an equation i is equal to i m sin omega t plus 90 degree idinde adu ningalku endha manasilayathu voltage in the current in the equation aarana lead cheyyunnathu aarana lag cheyyunnathu वर പക്ഷേ അവിടെ ഒരു ഡിഫറൻസ് നിങ്ങൾ വരുത്തേണ്ടത് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നേരെ തിരിക്കണം നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ഗ്രീൻ കളർ വോൾട്ടേജും റെഡ് കളർ കറണ്ട് വരുന്നു എടുത്തത് പക്ഷെ ഈ ഒരു കേസിൽ നിങ്ങൾ വരക്കുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം കറണ്ടിന് ഗ്രീൻ കളറും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കറണ്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് വരച്ച പോലെ കറണ്ടിന്റെ വേപ്പും വരക്കണം കറണ്ട് വരച്ച പോലെ എന്താ പറയുക വോൾട്ടേജിന്റെ വേപ്പും വരക്കണം നേരെ തിരിക്കണം അല്ലെ ഗ്രീൻ കളർ കറണ്ട് ആക്കണം റെഡ് കളർ വോൾട്ടേജ് ആക്കണം അങ്ങനെയാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഓക്കെ ഓർ വാട്ട് യു കൻ ഡു ഈസ് യു കാൻ वेवेडिंग Please take this point as a reference. Okay. So voltage is directly. If we are going to write this, what is the wave form? Voltage wave form. So voltage is zero cross line. Current voltage is called lead chain. If we are going to write this, what is the voltage zero cross chain? Then we will get R zero cross line. Current zero cross line by 90 degree. So this is the point mark here. Then you draw a wave form like this. So this means. current is leading the voltage so the blue color wave form is current and then you are drawing phasor diagram ore confusion adikkanda nere ore ring ne varakka endu aalochikku aarana lead cheyna current so anti clockwise direction munnil aara nokka so it is current then it is current okay so idana inde base alle ഈ ബേസിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങൾ എന്ത് കൊണ്ടുവന്നാൽ മതി ഇതിന്റെ അകത്തുള്ള ഡെറിവേഷൻ കൊണ്ടുവന്നാൽ മതി ഡെറിവേഷൻ എടുക്കാൻ വളരെ എളുപ്പമാണ് എന്താണ് ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓർത്തിരുന്നാൽ ബാക്കി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മാത്സില് ജനറൽ നോളജ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചെയ്ത് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുമെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഡെറിവേഷൻ എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ഇതെങ്കിലും നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചു വെക്കണം ഇത് ഞാൻ വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്തിനാണ് അടുത്ത ടോപ്പിക്കുകൾ ഇതിന്റെ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഓക്കെ ഒന്നുകൂടെ പെട്ടെന്ന് ചോദിക്കുക നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും പെട്ടെന്ന് ആൻസർ പറയണം ഇൻഡക്ടറിൽ ആരാണ് ലീഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് वोलटेजी फोर्मुलाइसिकीडीडी 
So today, we are going to do a problem. So we are going to do a problem. Okay. So this is the problem. Uh, sometimes this also will be asking for the sense exam. There was a very problem in the choice and the okay. So numerical problem. A 220 volt, 50 hertz. A 220 volt, 50 hertz, single phase sine voltage produces a current of 2.2 ampere. A220 volt, 50 hertz, single phase sine voltage produces a current of 2.2 ampere in a purely inductive coil. We have to use the resistance inductive capacitor. We have to use the resistance capacitor. We have to use the inductive capacitor. We have to use the resistance inductive coil. Nah, check in the Talaki thing that ended in the moon starring in the resistor in the star, inductor in the star, capacitor in the star. One of the Patami point the radio, purely inductive coil, upper in the resistor in the star, capacitor in the star is a potty and way. What can they do? Inductor matter. So, one of the prayer, a 220 volt, 50 hertz single phase sine voltage produces a current of 2.2 ampere in a purely inductive coil. Determine, determine, and they determine the inductive reactants. Inductive reactants. Then inductance, power absorb, expression for applied voltage and current. Okay, so these three things we have, four things we have to find them. First one is reactants. Okay. What are the reactants means? As I said earlier, the resistor is formula. Formula for resistance is voltage divided by current. Okay, next part of reactants in the it is a one kind of resistance which is applicable only for capacitive and inductive circuit. Okay, so resistance means we know that voltage divided by current. Reactance means it is a kind of resistance which is applicable only in inductive and capacitive circuits. So formula for reactance also same. So it is V by I. So in our question, they have directly given voltage value, okay? 220 volt. And also they have given current value, 2.2 ampere. So if you divide 220 volt divided by 2.2, you will be getting the in inductive reactance value. So 220 divided by 2.2 is 100. Unit also same as resistance, it is ohm. Okay. So 100 ohm is the reactant. If it is a dikanam, if it is so, the big kind of the other one is that if we are going to parallel the question, that is 220 volt and more than that, RMS value. So, 2.2 and more than that, that is RMS value. Now, because that is protected, you know, parallel to it. Suppose, for any maximum value, for any RMS value, we have to take into account root two value of the equation. We have to take into account. But in this case, we have to take into account. Okay, two protected, you know, parallel to it. Two RMS value is that we have to take. Okay, so we have calculated inductive reactance. Then they are asking for inductance value. Okay, up a number of manifesting in a the area that you will end the inductance in the current formula. Here the cam inductance in a Makaria machine of formula V is equal to L di by dt. L di by dt. That's not okay. Look under the inductance under the question. But she's not okay. But I di by dt under the question. You are reading the other questions. In the end of the equation, we will learn the XL equation. Inductive reactance is equal to, it is 2 pi FL. We will learn the equation. 2 pi FL. So, if we look at this equation, we will look at this equation. XL, we will look at this equation. XL, we will look at this equation. 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4
ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഫ്രീക്വൻസി നമുക്ക് തന്നിട്ടുണ്ടോ എന്ന് നമുക്കൊരു സംശയത്തിൽ നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇവിടെ തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് കാരണം എ ടു ട്വന്റി വോൾട്ട് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഹെഡ്സ് സപ്ലൈ എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് എല്ല് എല്ല് നമുക്കറിയില്ല അപ്പം ബാക്കി എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും അറിയുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും എല്ല് നമുക്ക് ഇതിന്റെ അകത്ത് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും എല്ല് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് എൽ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടു ബൈ എഫ് അതാണ് ഫോർമുല അത് കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് എല്ലിന്റെ വാല്യൂ കിട്ടും അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ സ്ക്രീനിൽ ആൻസർ ഉണ്ട് പക്ഷെ അത് നിങ്ങൾ നോക്കാണ്ട് ഈ ഒരു രീതിയിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്ത് നോക്ക് എന്നിട്ട് ആ സ്ക്രീനിൽ കാണുന്ന ആൻസർ കിട്ടുന്നുണ്ടോ എന്ന് എല്ലാവരും ഒന്ന് ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യും എല്ലാവരും ചെയ്ത് നോക്കണേ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചത് and then 2 pi is there that is a constant frequency they have given in the question 50 hertz and l we have to find out so only one un unknown quantity so we can find answer from that so formula for finding l is l is equal to xl divided by 2 pi f so if you do the calculation we will be getting xl 100 divided by 2 pi into 50 that is 0.318 henry l to get the answer കിട്ടിയെന്ന് പറയുന്നവരൊക്കെ ഇത് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇല്ലാത്തവരൊന്നും ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല കിട്ടിയോ ഇനി തേർഡ് വൺ പവർ അബ്സോർബ് ബൈ ദ സർക്യൂട്ട് ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ തേർഡ് വണ്ണ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് തേർഡ് പവർ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ പവർ അബ്സോർബ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഒരു പ്രോബ്ലവും ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല ഒരു ഇക്വേഷൻ എഴുതിയിട്ടില്ല പവർ അബ്സോർബ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ആൻസർ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അതെന്തുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഞാൻ അങ്ങനെ എഴുതിയത് ആർക്കെങ്കിലും ഒരാൾ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഞാൻ പവർ അബ്സോർബ് ആവറേജ് പവർ സീറോ ആണെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലേ എങ്ങനെയാ പറഞ്ഞത് നോക്കി വോൾട്ടേജ് കറണ്ട് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കി ആ സമയത്ത് ഓൺലൈൻ ക്ലാസ് ഇരുന്നവർക്കറിയാം അല്ലേ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ ഈ ഒരു എഫോൺ തന്നെ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാല് ഞാൻ മറിച്ച് എഫോൺ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്ത് കറക്റ്റ് കിട്ടുക എന്ന് അറിയില്ല നോക്കാം ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെക്ഷൻ ഓരോ സീറോ ക്രോസിംഗ് ഇൻസ്റ്റന്റും ഓരോ സെക്ഷൻ ആക്കി ഞാൻ എടുത്തു അല്ലേ സോ ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി ഐ ഹാവ് ത്രീ സെഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഷൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് ഇസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് കറണ്ട് ഈസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് so we know that power is equal to v into i so when we calculate power since power is equal to v into i when voltage is positive and current is negative we will be getting a negative power value okay 
that is in the case of in the first session in this case of second session where both voltage and current are positive so if you multiply two po positive quantity you will be getting positive power okay so in the first session you, you had negative power second session positive power third session where current is positive voltage is negative current is positive voltage is negative if you multiply it you will be getting negative power okay so it will be keep on continuing like this negative positive negative positive appo nammal adu ore area la nammal adu add cheythu kaynal positive negative varunu kondu power appadi zero aayirikku so in a purely inductive circuit or in a purely capacitive circuit we can say that the average power is equal to zero so that is about the third question okay the final one they are asking expression for applied voltage and current so what you do is you just write the expression v is equal to v m sin omega your expression are the value v is equal to v m sin omega in that v m we can find out how to 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 find out v is equal to v m sin omega t is a general equation In a particular case, we have to ask the question of voltage equation. We have to ask the value of 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 the value. So, we can write like Vm is equal to Vrms into root 2. That's why we have to ask the question of Vm is equal to Vrms into root 2. How do we have to ask the question of Vm? We are going to derive the value of 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 the value. So what is the value of Vm? Vr must be the value of the value. Then sin omega. Omega is the value of 2 pi f1 formula. So 2 pi ft. ूट <laughs> sin sin 314 adu calculate pon cheyanda avashyamilla le 2 into 15 marana 100 aanu 100 into 5 adhaayada 100 into 3.14 314 okay idu ingana nadu okay adu pole thaneyanu nammal current kandu pidikkana current inde formula edumbo oru difference undu endana difference current ലാഗ് ചെയ്യുന്നുള്ള കാര്യം നമ്മൾ മറന്നു പോകാൻ പാടില്ല ഐ എസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു ഐ എം സൈൻ ഒമേഗ ടീം എഴുതിയാൽ പോരാ ഐ എസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു ഐ എം സൈൻ ഒമേഗ ടീം മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു എഴുതണം എന്നിട്ട് നേരത്തെ ചെയ്ത അതേപോലെ തന്നെ എന്താ പറയുക റൂട്ട് ടു സൈൻ ടു പൈ എഫ് ടി മൈനസ് ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു ആ രീതിയിൽ പ്രോബ്ലം നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പറ്റണം ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് Okay, Abhiram. Abhiram, 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 Abhi